In this video, we're going to be looking at topic 2b, which is the halogens and um, group 7 of the periodic table as part of the IGCSE chemistry course for Edexcel. And we're going to be looking at the sole triple outcome for this topic. So the outcome for this for triple is to be able to explain the, the trend in reactivity in group 7 in terms of electronic configurations. So this is very much the same as the outcome for the alkali metals, we're just looking at the halogens this time. So as you go down the group, we know that the halogens become less reactive and we know that from double. Now, in all of the reactions when a halogen reacts to form an ion, the halogens are going to gain one electron and they are going to form a halide ion. So you can see that being formed here, where X is just any of the halogens. So it could be fluoride, chloride, bromide, or iodide. Remember, we don't really talk about astatine when we're discussing the halogens. Now, the reactivity of the halogens is going to depend on how strongly that gained electron is attracted to the nucleus. So the more attracted the electron is, the more strongly it is going to be held. Now, as we go down the group from fluorine down to iodine, we know that we are gaining more and more electrons. So we are adding electron shells. That means that the atoms get bigger. And as the atom gets bigger, the electron that is gained is then further away from the nucleus. So let's have a look at what that actually looks like. When we're forming a chloride ion, this electron here, the red one, has been gained from something else. And you can see that it is fairly close to the nucleus. So this electron is going to be closer to the nucleus. So it is going to be more attracted to the nucleus. That means that this ion will form easily. Basically meaning as soon as the electron comes close to the nucleus or comes close to the atom, it is going to be very strongly attracted and form part of the halide ion to give you your eight outer electrons. If we compare that to bromine forming a bromide ion, the electron that is gained is further away. So you can see that the inner electrons is much wider. So that is going to cause some shielding of the outer electron. So this time, the electron is further from the nucleus. So it is going to be less attracted. And that means that the ion forms less easily. So chloride is going to form more easily because it is, the electron is going to be closer to the nucleus. So that is going to be very strongly attracted. For bromide, it will still form, but it's not going to be as strongly attracted. So because the electron is not as easily gained when it is further away, it means it is less likely to form the ion. And if it is less likely to form the ion, that means that it's not going to undergo the reaction as well. So because of the increase in the size, we see a trend going down the group that causes the halogens to become less reactive. That is everything for the triple content for this topic. It is a very small topic and because it is a new statement, there are no past paper questions. What you might want to do is to practice writing out probably a three mark question explaining why the increase and in, sorry explaining why the reactions reactivity decreases as you go down the group and it is all to do with the distance from the electron so you might want to practice writing that if you're not sure how to do that or you have any questions please feel free to comment below and we hope to see you back on the channel soon